Hi, I'm Christopher from Martinez Medical Systems. In this video, I will talk about how project files and measurement files work in Oxisoft. As you may know, Oxisoft is organized by projects. In each project, you can have multiple measurements, each measurement in turn containing graphs and traces, actually displaying your data. All of the information about a project, the measurements in it, the graphs and traces are stored in a project file. Project files have the extension .oxyproj. The actual data that you record with the device, on the other hand, this is stored in a separate data file. And the data file has the extension .oxy4. I will illustrate this now with our measurement examples project. So the folder that you can see here contains all the data and the project file that makes up the measurement examples project. So you see the project file here and you see the four different OXY4 files up top. So if I now open this file in OXYSOFT, you can see that there are actually eight measurements. And this displays quite well the fact that you can have a few underlying data files, but you can make as many measurements as you want based on these data files. So basically, the measurements that you see here all are just references to the underlying data files. I will show you this by opening the properties for this first one. You can see that this refers to the motor cortex measurement. If I open the second one, this also refers to the same file. And this is no problem at all. It will just both read the same data. Also, to show you how independent these are from the actual underlying files, I'll go ahead and remove this measurement. And as you can see in the folder here, the underlying OXY4 file is still there. And it will be the same even if I deleted all the measurements here, it will leave the data untouched. So this is a very important principle to remember. The measurements here are separate from your data files. So any changes that you make in your project file will always leave the original data untouched. You can use this to your advantage as is shown in this example project here, by having one raw data display of the same underlying data. And then you can have a separate measurement where you show the filtered data. And then you have a last step where you have averaged the data. So this is a very good way of making use of multiple measurements. And also remember, even if you were to lose your project file, you will still have the underlying data. And the underlying data file, the OXY4 file, still contains enough information for you to recover all the data it contains the optode template information, etc. However, since there are two different file types and you can save these in different locations, there are a couple of things that you may want to think about. When you set up your measurement and you select where to save your data file, keep track of where you save this file so it doesn't end up in a location that you don't remember. It is also a good idea to, in general, keep the OXY project files and the OXY4 files in the same location. It can also be a good idea to give them similar names so you know how an OXY4 file relates to a project. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. If you have any questions, have a look in the manual or contact us via askforinfo at artinis.com.